It is estimated that worldwide, 1 in 160 children have autism spectrum disorder. Based on epidemiological studies conducted over the past 50 years, the prevalence of ASD appears to be increasing globally. This could be for a number of reasons, including improved awareness, expansion of diagnostic criteria, better diagnostic tools, and improved reporting. ASD begins in childhood and tends to progress into adolescence and adulthood. In most cases, the conditions are apparent during the first five years of the child. Children with autism are often socially withdrawn and are more sensitive to light and loud music. They avoid interactions with others and may find it hard to maintain eye contact, with many finding it difficult to express their thoughts and opinions. ASD can affect people in many different ways. No two people have the exact same symptoms or the way in which the disorder can affect them. It is for these reasons that it is imperative that the right and early diagnostic is done to give a person with the disorder the proper care and treatment they need. Due to different clinics diagnosing the disorder differently, researchers came up with a diagnostic tool of autism spectrum disorder, which evaluates a person's symptoms and places them on a severity scale according to their diagnosis. For example, severity level 1, a person would be able to structure the sentences efficiently, however, maintaining a conversation would be difficult. They also may find it difficult to switch between activities. This level of ASD was likely to be previously diagnosed as Asperger's syndrome. At the other side of the spectrum, at severity level 3, a person rarely initiates interactions with others. Their sentences and speech are often incoherent. Change is very problematic and their symptoms and behaviour impacts their quality of life significantly. By using the autism spectrum model for scaling different symptoms has proven to be a more efficient and accurate way of diagnosing individuals. Autism can be affected by one's DNA, which is involved in brain development. The gene or genes that contribute to autism spectrum disorder are yet to be discovered. Other contributing factors could be being exposed to high testosterone levels in the womb, difficulties in pregnancies or birth, and having older parents. As our understanding of the disorder continues to grow, so does the treatment available with earlier diagnosis and therefore the right medication and therapy given can significantly increase the quality of life a person has with autism spectrum disorder. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.